Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this beer review. Time to take the old trip guys. We're heading towards Sweden for this one. We're turning to Prophecy Brewing. Which is a uh, part and parcel of Brighus Nitton or Brewing House 19. I think it's one of their more experimental divisions I believe. Taking a look at their contradiction. Described as a West Coast, uh, double dry hopped West Coast IPA clocking in at 7%. Uh, Hot of Galaxy, Mosaic, Idaho 7, and Cryo Pop Hops. Uh, there you go. There's that kind of surrealistic motif, which they do have on their cans. Right, so that's it, basically. With that said, let's pop the top, see what we get then. So yeah, haven't had a beer from these guys in a while. There we'll go, let's see how it fares. Okay. Okay, there we go. Right, and the last few drops there to catch up some potential sediments in here. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Don't miss out on the sediments, guys. A lot of flavor in there, a lot of flavor. Okay, in view. So there you go, uh, three fingers worth of bright white shining head. A uh, little bit of a darker golden color to it. it. Looks nice. There's certainly a little bit of haze to it. There you go. Okay, on to the nose. Yeah, I mean, it's a kind of a West Coast style nose on it. Yeah, fruity, citrusy. Let's dive in, see what we get. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, that's a decent West Coast IPA. Yeah, no doubt about it. Very, very nice. Uh, very fruity. It's got a nice fruitiness to it. Mm. Yeah, good body to it. Mid-level towards a little bit of a richer mouthfeel. Good bitter whack at the back end. Fruity initial taste, citrus notes, piney. Yeah, and oh, now I, I do get even more now of that bitter aftertaste. It's got a really potent bitter aftertaste to it, actually. But if that's your thing, you will probably like this one. Uh, it's a good example of a West Coaster for sure. Yeah, so it's very fruity initially, citrus notes, and then you get that big whack of bitterness lingering on and on. For me, it's a decent beer, nothing outstanding, nothing that would make me jump up and down of excitement or dance around the room, but it's nonetheless a very nice drinkable West Coaster. There you go, guys, Prophecy Brewing and their Contradiction, double dry hopped. Uh, West Coast IPA clocking at 7%, uh, no hint of those 7% there, drinkable, quite easy going, uh, for me 3.75 out of 5, thanks for watching.